Hey, what's up, soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies Top 5. Today, what I have for you guys is the top five classic training spots in Call of Duty Zombies history. Now, I decided to exclude Black Ops 3 for this list because I wouldn't really consider it a classic zombies game, at least until the next iteration of Treyarch Zombies is released. So, like I said, not including Black Ops 3, just Black Ops 1 and 2. Now, for this list, I want to let you guys know that this is not meant to be a high round guide by any means. I'm not a high round player. These are simply the top five training spots that got recommended to me on Twitter, and I have used them in the past, and you guys should enjoy the video. There's two honorable mentions as well. Before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications. That would be greatly appreciated. If you do end up subscribing, let me know down below so I can feature you in the beginning of my next video, like all these people on screen. And last but not least, if you guys want me to make a like high round strategies video, you can definitely let me know that down below. And that's something else I will do. Now, like I said, this is not meant to be for high rounds, but I can make a separate top five for high round strategies. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Coming in at the number five spot is going to be training in the Origins Crazy Place. Now, there's two different ways you can do this. You can decide not to pick up any staff parts so that the walls never come down and just train in there. It's a really nice area to train for sure. As you can see in this gameplay, it was actually really, really fun. I had never really done this before, but I got a lot of suggestions for it. So I decided to try it out and just use the STG and the AK-74U, which are on the walls. I decided not even to pack a punch the guns and just see how far I could go. Now I got past round 20 and I got kind of bored of it. So I stopped and that's why I'm not a high round player but it's still a really cool spot now you can either do this like i said before picking up the staff parts or you can get all the way till the end of the easter egg where you have to get a hundred souls collected and then you can release maxis now obviously you don't have to release maxis you can just train down there after and that's what it seems to be like the best strategy for a lot of the high round players that go for black ops three high rounds on origins they like to train down there with a double pack punch weapon and use like dead wire and things like that so that is going to come in at the number five spot the origins crazy place coming in at the number four spot is going to be the mob of the dead cafeteria now this is definitely a very very good place to train just because of how open it is the zombies are going to pour in the three different windows and also in front of you and one really good method is to turn on the acid trap as often as you can it does have a fast recharge time so you can do it fairly often and sometimes once you get past around 30 pull it a couple times per round so that's definitely a very very good thing now also you can upgrade the hell's retriever to the hell's redeemer which is the blue tomahawk and that's going to also take care of a ton of zombies not only that there's a build table so you can build a shield and every time you lose a shield you can just grab a new one which is also a very very good strategy and it's going to keep your back protected the entire time while you're training you can also buy claymores in there and stack them wherever you want it's just a great overall area to train and it's really really fun in my personal opinion it's one of my favorites and you never really get stuck too badly i never see myself going down in there now there are instances where it does happen but i would just say they are far less common than some of the other places to train on mob of the dead so the mob of the dead cafeteria comes in at the number four spot Coming in at the number three spot is training behind the house that is green on Nuketown, not to be confused with a greenhouse where you grow plants. Now this strategy is very, very fun to use because all you really do is run around in circles and go between the steps and the house. And there's plenty of room if you see yourself getting stuck and you have the foresight for that, you can also make cutbacks because there's so much open room on this map. Now keep in mind that you may not get jug right away and that can be kind of an issue, but you can get the other perks and if you're playing solo, you'll get Quick Revive right away. And also the Pack Punch Machine is going to be included within that. But you should get all the perks by about round 25 or so. Now also keep in mind, guys, that for this strategy, you do not want to open the bottom floor door that leads into the bottom floor of the house that is green because this is going to cause zombies to run through there. It's also going to expand the 
spawns a little bit otherwise if you don't open that door all the zombies are pretty much primarily going to spawn on the sides of the house and like in the backyard behind where you're actually training so it's a really really nice spot it's a lot of open space for you to get out of tricky situations if you see yourself getting stuck somewhere and also if you end up getting fire sales because you moved the box already there's also two box locations there so you can keep switching between both of them while you're training as well which is kind of cool so overall coming in at the number three spot is the house that is green on nuketown in its backyard Coming in at the number two spot is going to be training on the stage of Kino Der Toen. Now, overall, this is a very classic strategy for a lot of people. It's usually used by zombie players who think they can go for high rounds and decide to train on the stage. This is definitely not the fastest area. There are so many other ones like the fire trap strategy within the MPL room. Also training in the alley is another very, very good one. There's so many different strategies that people like to use. But for me, the classic one from Kino is definitely on the stage. Now, this spot is decent because you get Nova crawlers walking down the wall, which are usually pretty easy to spot, and they just continuously go in circles over and over. The zombies are going to follow you, and it creates a nice train. And if you need to, you can cut through the middle where the stage props are. So that's also a very, very nice thing. Now, this is not like by any means as bad as the revelations one the revelations one is so much more cluttered and it really does suck but i think the kino stage is so open and so you know such a large area that it's really really nice for training in so that comes in at the number two spot all right guys so we have two honorable mentions the first one is going to be the mob of the dead bridge now a classic strategy that a lot of people like to use is just use the tomahawk because you can get kills there and end up upgrading it to the hell's redeemer so what a lot of people like to do is if you're playing in like a four player game three people will sit back in the corner and one person is going to train all the zombies with the shield and then you can continuously throw your tomahawk and if you're one of the people sitting in the back you can also throw it now now, every round that you stay there you're gonna get an additional brutus so you get one the first round you're there then two and so on and so forth so the longer you stay there the more brutuses you're gonna get or brood eye i don't really know what the plural is for brutus but overall it's a very very classic training spot and a very classic training area where everyone trains every single time you go to the bridge on mob of the dead and the other honorable mention is going to be in front of the Call of the Dead Lighthouse. This is also a very good spot as well. You can buy the 74U off the wall and just continuously train around. And also, you don't want to open the front door of the lighthouse unless you're completing the Easter egg. Then it's a pretty good door to open with the VR11. But this is just a nice open area. The zombies are going to jump down kind of where you go from the like to the bottom of the slide if you slide down the big like ice thing in the back of the lighthouse so it's a really really nice open area and it's great for training so that is the other honorable mention coming in at the number one spot for the most classic training spot in call of duty zombies as requested by you guys over on twitter this got by far the most votes is going to be by phd flopper on ascension now in this gameplay i was just using flopper way too much and i wasn't actually training and it's really hard to do in a public match because everyone just chills up there so you can't really train but if you're playing solo it's a really good spot you can also call the lunar lander there so if you need to uh, escape for some reason you can use that which is also very very nice and it only costs 250 points which is fantastic now the weird thing about this area and on ascension is zombies do like weird barrel rolls so that can kind of mess you up sometimes but for me i just like to dive off the stairs over and over repeatedly and kill as many zombies as possible because that is by far the coolest thing to do in zombies let's be honest here it's really really fun but this is definitely one of my favorite training spots and i'm not surprised that it got so many votes over on twitter 
so anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy in the top five training spots that are classic in call of duty zombies if you think i missed out on any definitely let me know and if you guys want me to make a black ops 3 one just for black ops 3 you can also let me know because there's so many different training spots in black ops 3 for sure i just decided not to include it in this video and i hope you guys understand the reasoning behind it because i wouldn't really consider it a classic zombies game yet but thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video peace out